All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus, this is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. Hey, everyone. This is Jody Sweeten from the podcast How Rude, Tanneritos. I've been needing a quick getaway with my family, and the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe is the perfect vehicle to take us there. It has standard third-row seating, so I'm able to pack my entire family, plus pets, in the car while also having enough room for our camping essentials. Available H-Track all-wheel drive will get us through any dirt trails, and available dual wireless charging pads will ensure we never have to worry about getting stuck with a dead phone in the middle of nowhere. Visit HyundaiUSA.com. Or call 562-314-4603 for more details. Hyundai, there's joy in every journey. Let me run this by my lawyer is a really helpful phrase to have in your back pocket. Legal Shield has been giving legal peace of mind for over 50 years. They connect you to a vetted law firm in your state for an affordable monthly fee. Want an experienced set of eyes on a contract's fine print? Or you finally want to get that will done? Legal Shield has a dedicated group of lawyers who have your back, no matter what the future brings. Sign up today at LegalShield.com forward slash iHeart. PPLSI does not provide legal representation or advice. See a plan for complete terms. You know that feeling when you walk into your home, take a deep breath, and feel new? Well, that's what it's like to use Clorox Sentiva. Because Clorox Sentiva smells like coconut, cleans like Clorox, and feels like energy. It'll elevate any cleaning routine to not just clean, but also make every room smell like a tropical coconut getaway. Discover how Clorox Sentiva's powerful clean and refreshing scents can transform your space. Get yours in coconut or other fabulous scents at a nearby retail store. I won't let my body outweigh Outweigh everything that I'm made of Won't spend my life trying to change I'm learning to love who I am I am strong, I feel free I know every part of me is beautiful And I will always outweigh If you feel it, put your hands in the air Show some love to the mirror while you're there Let's take it one day at a time Cause you and I outweigh Happy Saturday, Outweigh fam. Amy here. And back for another episode is Dylan Murphy. She's a registered dietitian based in Nashville, which is where I live. On Instagram, she's at dylanmurphy.rd. And the RD is for registered dietitian. (laughs) So hey, Dylan. Hi. Yeah. She is also the founder of Free Method Nutrition, which is something you can check out and the Free Method Podcast as well. She hosts that, which is super cool. I just encourage y'all to check out her Instagram and see all of her encouragement there. And, you know, last Saturday she was on and the topic came up of, you know, if you're in the middle of an eating disorder or some really disordered eating patterns and behaviors that are wrecking havoc Reeking? Wrecking? Reeking? Reeking havoc. Reeking. Reeking. Wrecking? I don't know. Who knows? It might be They wrecking. are controlling your life and causing havoc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's like, where where do you turn? What do you mm. do? What's, what's the first step? And, you know, you mentioned reaching out to professionals mm-hmm. for help that specialize in eating disorders. But then there's this layer of those that are close to you. Yeah. Who's safe to talk to? I guess my question for you if you were talking to a client, mm-hmm. Dylan, is how do you know who's safe to talk to? Because there mm-hmm. might be some friends and family that aren't yeah. who you should speak to because it might yes. cause more damage or more harm than good. So how do we decipher a safe person? And then mm-hmm. how do we bring it up and say it? Yeah. I love that you asked that question that way. Because I think, I mean, all of us can probably think of like friends or family members where 
okay, they talk a lot about certain diets or they talk a lot about their body. So like maybe they're not the person I would confide in about these struggles with eating I'm having, whether it is like a full-blown eating disorder or it's just kind of chronic dieting, disordered eating. So I think even paying attention to any of those like trends you may notice in like a friend or family member. So if there's lots of like body talk, diet talk, they may not be a safe space. From the opposite end of the spectrum, like if they, if you notice they're not talking a lot about like diets or their body or, and also if they're just like a kind, empathetic, understanding person, that's the type of person you want to bring in to your journey and knowing like you don't have to tell every single friend, every single family member, announce it to the world. Like you could just tell mm. one friend, one family member, whatever feels like comfortable for you. And then maybe you end up telling more people or maybe that one person becomes your safe space. But there's so much power that can be found in accountability. If you bring an expert into your into your world, so a dietitian and a therapist, hopefully being able to have both, they're able to support you super well. You know, we typically meet with clients once a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, but we're not in like the day-to-day grind with you. We're not there at breakfast. We're not texting throughout the day. We're not at the grocery store with you. And so having someone that's like in the weeds with you that also can kind of call you out if they start to notice things, which can feel uncomfortable, but also I feel like can be very powerful. Very. Yeah. And that, I mean, some it is uncomfortable. The whole mm-hmm. process in recovery is yes. uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. I mean, it could be a mom, a sister, a friend, a spouse. Yeah. Yes. Whatever. Um, or brother. Yeah. Yes. Whatever. You know, just someone that can be in your corner with mm-hmm. you. Yeah. And if you don't have that, then yeah, a, a professional would be the next mm-hmm. best option yeah. if that's a resource that you have. If not, I mean, there's plenty of dietitians mm-hmm. that are like Dylan that have your mindset mm-hmm. and like Kat Defada and other people that are anti-diet that yeah. I follow online that I feel like they're my friends and I've never met yes. them. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of and, online friends. <laughs> and I can count on their posts mm-hmm. to encourage me. Yeah. You know, something that you had put up, Dylan, and mm-hmm. this was back in like early May, but Mm -hmm. you said being healthy includes your mind and your heart Mm -hmm. just as much as it does your body. And relationships with people in our lives, our friends, our family, our spouses, our kids, that's part of a healthy Mm -hmm. mind, body, spirit Mm -hmm. connection. All of that community is just something that's so important. We need as humans, loneliness is a crazy it's like an epidemic. Oh my I think gosh. that's happening, especially during yes. COVID when yes. people were so isolated. I've often said my dad passed away in 2021, mm-hmm. not of COVID. He never got it, but he lived in an assisted living mm-hmm. place. Wow. Two things about him. He had a love of food mm-hmm. and a love of people. Mm-hmm. And we had him in an assisted living place because he had cancer and had to have surgery and ended up with a feeding tube. Mm, yeah. And then his hands also, he had a stroke. They didn't work as well. Mm -hmm. So these things led him to no longer be able to cook, which was Mm -hmm. one of his favorite things to do for people, Mm -hmm. which is one thing that I missed out on a lot because I didn't want to eat his food because it wasn't quote unquote healthy enough for me. (laughs) But he no longer could cook and he no longer could eat, Mm -hmm. which was another joy. And then a year after he's going through all that, Mm -hmm. the world shuts down, maybe a year and a half, and he's Mm -hmm. in an assisted living home when no one can see him and we're talking to him through a window. Mm -hmm. So you add all those things up and his body was just like, this is not what I was built for. And it started shutting down. Mm -hmm. I think he could have kept going, but Mm -hmm. he's like, you know, this is, this is no way to live. And, and, And I, we moved him into my house and he lived here one night. And then the next night he just, his body yeah. just started to shut down and we had to take him to the hospital and he went on life support. Mm-hmm. But I think he, all he needed was that one night here. Yeah. And just wow. to have with us and, you know, be here, you know, mm-hmm. that was like what he needed yeah. for his body to finally be like, okay, I can go now. Time. Yeah. And I share that story, not to be depressing, but just to be an illustration mm-hmm. of what it can look like when you're, when you're isolated from real joy. Yeah. Yeah. the joys of your life. And yes. what are those yeah. joys? And when you're wrapped up in an eating disorder or constantly having to be at the gym or stressed out about food, mm-hmm. maybe your joys aren't cooking for people and eating like it was for my dad. Mm-hmm. But if you're not experiencing that joy for your soul yeah. and your 
your mind body connection. Mm. Kat and I were even having this conversation the other day about pleasure. Some people are just going through life day to day and they just cannot wait to go to bed and to wake up and do it all over again. Yeah. So what, what do you have? What advice do you have for people if they're like, I don't know how to shut it off in my brain to go experience relationships Mm. and have joy and pleasure and even find that or because, because also too, I'm giving you a lot, Dylan, to like respond to, (laughs) but the isolation, the loan, the loneliness, Mm -hmm. I remember being feeling so alone Mm -hmm. in my eating disorder because I'm like, nobody understands, nobody will understand. But guess what? If I would have, once I did, was able to get vulnerable and I wasn't declaring it to the world yet, Yeah, but I was able to find key people that were safe people for me and Mm -hmm. say it. And then, and then found some people on Instagram Mm -hmm. that were recommending books. And I was like, wow, I'm not alone. Yes. And then that's what outweighs Mm -hmm. all about. We want you to know you are not alone. It feels lonely, but you're not alone. And there is hope and there is mm-hmm. chance for that mind body connection. Yes. So Dylan, take yes. it away. <laughs> yes. I am like, where do I even begin? All right. Sunny weather is upon us and the sun out means more time outside. My kids have sports. There's also swimming, hiking, going to the lake. And I'm always on the lookout for sun care. That's easy for all of us. And that's where the new Banana Boat 360 coverage is coming to the rescue. It smells good. It is incredibly light on your skin. It is not greasy, which I think we can all appreciate. And it's an all new bottle with advanced control mist. It's a new way to spray. Better control means coverage that you can count on with a precision pump to get all your big and little spots. I mean, you can literally customize the spray. You just got to tap the trigger lightly to cover targeted areas or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Banana Boat 360 coverage is also aerosol-free, which is a plus in my book for sure. It's available in Banana Boat's high-performance, water-resistant sport formula, and pediatrician-tested kids SPF 50. You can shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. So I love traveling and coming home to my bed because it's comfy and familiar. I love crawling into it. Well, what if you could take your bed on the road with you so that way you got good night's sleep while you're on a trip? And it's not your entire bed, but at least your bedding, which is the best part. Let me introduce you to Cozy Earth's luxurious bedding. Now, Cozy Earth is travel-friendly and hassle-free, and the bedding comes in these adorable totes, which makes it really easy for you to take it on trips with you. They also have really amazing loungewear, so if you're on a long flight, you can stay cool and comfy with Cozy Earth's temperature-regulating bamboo joggers and pullover crew, and it'll add a touch of style to your travel ensemble as well. So whether you're exploring stuff near or far, take a little bit of home with you. Cozy Earth has everything you need to turn every moment into pure bliss. Discover your next destination for ultimate comfort at Cozy Earth. Visit CozyEarth.com and use our code OUTWAY at checkout to get 35% off. And let them know that we sent you after you check out. Hey, this is Jody Sweeten from the podcast How Rude Tanneritos. As a nostalgic voice from your past, I'm here to remind you that amongst the stressful and chaotic existence we live in 2024, you deserve to get away. It's time for a vacation, no matter when you're hearing this. And let me tell you how you'll get there. The 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe. Want to bring the family to the mountains with the Santa Fe's available H-Track all-wheel drive? Well, it's got standard third-row seating and available dual wireless charging pads for the kids who just want to stare at their phone and not talk to you. You know what I mean. Visit HyundaiUSA.com or call 562-314-4603 for more details. Hyundai. There's joy in every journey. Let me just run this by my lawyer is a really helpful phrase to have in your back pocket. Legal Shield has been giving legal peace of mind for over 50 years. They connect you to a vetted law firm in your state for an affordable monthly fee. Want an experienced set of eyes on a contract's fine print? Or you finally want to get that will done? Legal Shield has a dedicated group of lawyers who have your back, no matter what the future brings. Sign up today at LegalShield.com forward slash iHeart. PPLSI does not provide legal representation or advice. See a plan for complete terms. I love what you said about, like, you feel so alone. It makes you feel so isolating. I mean, probably every person I've ever talked to who's struggled with an eating disorder, disordered eating, 
always says like, I thought I was the only one. I didn't realize other people struggled with this. But then when they start to dig deeper, when you bring accountability in, when you see like, okay, there's people who have written books on this, there's podcasts on this, there's people like me and Kat who dedicate our whole career to it. Like clearly a lot of people struggle with this, which means you're not alone. And so, and now I'm trying to remember what your original question was with that. Oh, how to figure out joy and stuff and life, yes, right? Pleasure. Yes. Like how do yes. we tap into that when we're so miserable. Yes. So it's interesting because research actually shows for people struggling with any realm of eating disorder and even like just dieting that anywhere from 80 to 110% of our thoughts are consumed with food in our body. And so when it's saying like 110, it's like, we're even like dreaming about it every night. Like it's wow. like all we think about. So if you think about that, it's like, well, that really leaves no time to think about other things that I enjoy to make friends, to laugh, to do things that are fun, to travel, whatever brings you joy, it kind of takes all that away. And then for people who have a healthy relationship with food, they're thinking about food, their body, like 20% of the time of like, okay, what's for dinner? I'm excited to try this new thing. Like it's still in your thoughts, but it's not all consuming. And so to really start that journey, to move from that like 80% towards 20%, one thing I would do is ask yourself like, what do I value? What is important to me? And it can be really hard to answer that when you're deep in like your eating disorder, dieting behaviors, because you may think, and I hear this so often of like, well, I really value like my health and my appearance and I value, you know, eating healthy, feeling good, but like really pushing and getting curious of like, but what actually like brings me joy? Do I enjoy spending time with family? Do I enjoy traveling? Do I enjoy just like learning and growing and kind of with that, it's like figuring out your values, like what's important to you as a person and then seeing how can I start taking steps towards that? Do I need to like, one thing I've done recently is like signed up for like a tennis league here in Nashville. Cause I'm like, I want to do something fun, something new. And so finding things that like bring you joy. And sometimes it might be like getting creative because it may be hard to think outside of the box of like food and dieting and your eating disorder, but kind of in the sense of like, throwing spaghetti on a wall to see what sticks of like, well, let me like take up some new hobbies. Let me like hang out with my friends more. Let me see what, what more is there to life? Because also I think food, like you mentioned with your dad, like food should be a thing that brings you joy. It shouldn't be a stressor. It should be this like freeing and fun way that we experience life and culture and, and so many other things. And so in starting to find more like value in life outside of an eating disorder, you start to realize like, oh, I can make fun recipes that actually taste good. Like I remember when I was deep in like orthorexia days, like I would make black bean brownies and like even saying that, yeah. like, that sounds <laughs> disgusting. So like being able to make brownies, like just from a box, whatever sounds good, making your grandma's homemade cookie recipe that you love, like being able to like find joy in food and not be this like stressing thing to you. And I, I'll just little like add on to that with the black bean, bean brownies. Mm -hmm. So my friend, Laura Lee, uh -huh. do you know Laura Lee yes. Balanced? Yes. She actually has an it amazing her recipe black bean recipe. <laughs> yes. And it does sound disgusting. Mm -hmm. I will say she's got this like, sauce you make to put on top that uh -huh. is like decadent and yes. amazing. Yes. So as long as you're approaching it from yes. like a health, not a calorie, I'm trying to yes. be skinny or like this is good now because yes. food doesn't have a moral value, yes. then I think you could enjoy a recipe like Absolutely. that. But when you're approaching it as like, okay, how I used to, now mm. I could make her recipe and be yeah. like, okay, yeah, this is good. Fine. Yes. But I would previously do it with the thought, this is me in yeah. my brain. I don't know about for everybody else, but like, oh, now I get eat more of this because yes. it's quote unquote good. Yes. And yes. it's like, no, mm. then if I, yes. if I have that mentality, I end up w eating way more because yeah. I've cr m made it this thing. Then, and then it's okay if I want to eat all of it. Mm -hmm. that, it's like the restriction, the binge yes. restrict cycle mm -hmm. of like this, how we put labels on food that cause us to react yes. differently to food. That if mm -hmm. it was just food, we would eat till we're content with it and then Absolutely. Stop. And I think with that, it all goes back to like what motivates you. So if you're making black bean brownies and you find, okay, what's motivating me to make this is I want dessert, but I feel bad. I can't have dessert. Brownies are bad. Sugar's bad. 
but if I make these black bean ones, then I can eat them. That's not a great motivator. Right. But if it's like kind of you were describing like, oh, Laura Lee has this great recipe. Um, this sounds good. I'm kind of intrigued. Like, what will this taste like? Then that's great. And then you're able to make it, you taste it and you see, you're also able to look at it with like clear eyes to see, do I actually enjoy the taste of this? Or do I taste this and realize like, this isn't good. I'm not going to eat them. Like you're able to see it more clearly versus like, I remember so vividly, there'd be so many random things that I would make and taste, but you're not even like paying attention to the taste because it's more like, well, this is just what I have to have. I don't have an option of having regular brownies. This is the only way I could eat a brownie. So it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. This is just what I'm like, taste wise, good or bad. It's like, this is just what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Um, So it gives you the freedom to really bring in, in a sense, like the flavor and the taste back to food to really figure out what sounds good. Thank you for putting it so eloquently. (laughs) I couldn't like get the words out, but that's what I was trying to say too. And Laura Lee is a friend and Uh she's even been on her own journey of, you know, having some disordered behaviors and then moving into a space of not wanting to live that way and even got some kickback sometimes when she would post that she was eating certain things and people would call her out like, I do, I'm surprised you're eating that or yeah. I'm shocked that you... And she's like, okay, yes. let me just set the record straight. Mm. And so she's been on her own journey. And so she's got a lot of amazing food. But mm-hmm. on your Instagram, you had put up a post because it's summer. And I think this is important to keep in mind. You might be taking trips with family. Again, yeah. going back to what's important and joys in life and what are your core values and mm-hmm. making memories? And you said this summer, instead of saying vacation calories don't count, mm-hmm. how about we try saying these calories will give my body the energy it needs to enjoy my vacation? Mm-hmm. Thank goodness they count. Mm-hmm. So just keep that quote in your back yes. pocket when yes. you're taking some some trips because dang, another thing you put up <laughs> was guilt doesn't belong on your plate, just yes. the foods you love. Boom, there's so Mm. much. And then you also posted, picture yourself in 40 years from now Mm. still counting calories. That is not the life you are meant to live. There is more than, excuse me, let me back up. There (laughs) is more that you are meant to give to the world than that. Mm. And it is so true. Yeah, There is more that you are meant to give to the world than that. And it's just, it's it's hard to let go of because it's what we've been doing for for so long. Some of us, I mean, we have listeners yeah. that are teenagers, Dylan, and then we have listeners that are in their 60s and 70s. Mm, and it, yeah. at 60 years old, they're just now realizing mm. there's another way. Yeah. Yeah. And even on that note of like, if you're listening and you are, because even hearing that quote and like, if you're like, well, I'm already over 40 and I'm still doing that. Like, is it too late? No, it's never too late to like, want recovery, to choose recovery, to find freedom in your food choices. It takes time, but it's so possible no matter if you're 16 or 60, um, that freedom's possible for you. And if you're doing, I think a good way to look at it too is like if there's habits in your life right now that you're doing that you look at 40 years from now and you don't want to be doing, like counting calories, going to the gym three times a day, whatever the behaviors may be, like what can you do today to work to stop doing those or to to let go of and have less rigidity over those behaviors? Awesome. Well, we hope this leaves you with some encouragement to really look at the big picture of you, mind, body, spirit, mm-hmm. connection, finding those safe people in your life that you can start having the conversations with. That way you at least have someone in your corner that's also able to hold you accountable mm. because you do need a partner. And you, you never know what what type of conversation that might lead to, what yeah. type of even, you, that might connect you with someone even more. Mm-hmm. And they might feel safe to then open up to you about something. And then y'all can, I feel like just like we used to have or people still do have, but I certainly was way more into having a gym buddy. Oh yeah. And now I like just meeting friends for a casual stroll. Yes. It doesn't have to be this yes. intense, crazy yes. workout, but I wanted a gym buddy for like every day of the week. Cause then mm-hmm. I had that accountability that I was always at the gym yes. for however long. And so now it's maybe you have, you know, that accountability partner mm-hmm. for just even having real conversations yeah, and talking about the hard stuff yes. and calling each other out yes, and in a very kind, loving way. Yes. <laughs> what no, friends are for. No judgment. This yes. is a judgment-free zone. Yes. Well, Dylan, thank you so much for joining us again this week. And Dylan will be back next Saturday. And we're going to be talking about ways to 
respond to diet talk. And then also I have a a scenario I want to run by Dylan where I got in my head recently about eating too much and I am in recovery, but my brain had went out of recovery for Mm, a few seconds. And I thought, what what have I done? Mm. And really I had done nothing wrong, Mm. but I want Dylan to break it down for us. So she'll be back next Saturday and we will see y'all then. Bye. All right, this sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting Banana Boat protection. Plus, it's refillable from sweat resistant sport formula to kids SPF 50 plus. This is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target or Amazon. Are you feeling overwhelmed by anxiety, struggling to find restful sleep, or plagued by a restless inability to focus? It's time to break free from the chains of mental health challenges and discover a path to healthy living. Welcome to Amen University, founded by renowned psychiatrist and brain health expert, Dr. Daniel Amen. Dr. Amen, alongside a team of esteemed doctors and experts in their fields, understands the struggles you're facing and are here to offer solutions. From debilitating anxiety to sleepless nights filled with worry, our courses are meticulously crafted to target these specific challenges head on. Join us on a journey of transformation led by Dr. Amen and a roster of top tier professionals. Say goodbye to the constant battle with your mind and embrace a future filled with hope and possibility. Visit our website today to explore our courses and start your journey towards a brighter tomorrow. Use code BRAIN10 and get 10% off. That's code BRAIN10 and get 10% off your first purchase. Amen University, because your mental health matters. Hey everyone, this is Jody Sweeten from the podcast How Rude, Tanneritos. I've been needing a quick getaway with my family, and the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe is the perfect vehicle to take us there. It has standard third row seating, so I'm able to pack my entire family, plus pets in the car, while also having enough room for our camping essentials. Available H-Track all-wheel drive will get us through any dirt trails, and available dual wireless charging pads will ensure we never have to worry about getting stuck with a dead phone in the middle of nowhere. Visit HyundaiUSA.com. Or call 562-314-4603 for more details. Hyundai, there's joy in every journey. This is Ashley Iconetti from the Ben and Ashley I Almost Famous podcast. The state of Tennessee is one of the few places where the sounds are just as breathtaking as the sights. Whether that's live music at a historic music venue, the crack of an open fire at a campsite in the wilderness, or hearing kids laughing as they explore what's right around the bend, Tennessee just sounds perfect. Start planning your trip at tnvacation.com. Tennessee sounds perfect.